Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now today we're inside After Effects and we're going to take a look at how, how we can quickly and simply make a single mask and apply it to multiple layers for ease of use basically. So usually inside After Effects the way you'd create a mask is you'd go to one of your layers, uh, you'd select the shape tool with that layer selected and you just draw an area for which you want the mask to be. Then if you wanted to apply that to multiple uh, layers you can just go down into the mask panel here, you can copy that mask and then you can paste it into new layers. Now imagine you had a hundred layers you wouldn't want to do that manually um, so the way you can quickly mask that is using the set mat tool um, if you have no layer selected for example um, and you just pop up to your shape layer here move to a frame where you can basically see where you want to mask the area and draw a shape over where you want that mask to be so say for example I take this rectangle tool here and I find the top of the um, the ball and there we go so I want that area to be masked out um, you can either draw a shape to be the area you want to be masked or draw a shape for the area which you don't want to be masked uh, and you'll see why that doesn't matter in a minute. Um, then basically you want to go up to your effects and presets panel and type in set mat, that's spelled M-A-T-T-E, um, and you drag that set mat down onto the first layer which you want to be masked and you let go. And you can see in your effects uh, panel up here, you've now got a number of options. You basically want to choose take mat from layer and then take it from the layer which you just drew your mask to be, which in this case is shape layer two. Now you can take that and what it's basically saying is for this layer, the ball composition, use the shape layer two as the mask, which is nice and simple. But as you can see, it's actually masked out the wrong bit. Um, it's only making it appear when it's inside that layer. What we want to do is invert it like so. And now you'll see that when it reaches um, that area, it disappears. But there's a big, ugly yellow box on our screen. So don't worry, you can hide that layer and the mat still works. So as you can see here, when that ball reaches the edge of our set mat, it disappears, but the others still pop into existence. So you're thinking, well, that kind of sucks. Now I've got to go individually and copy this set mat thing. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. It's, uh, it's the same process. But it's not, because individually, if you had to do that with the normal masks, you'd have eight masks to manage there, eight masks to go in and change the settings of. But now, for example, if I go to my original shape layer, make it visible again, and expand, move this up a bit, for example, and stretch out a bit further, um, and hide it again, you can see that it's actually changed that for all of the layers straight away, because they're all using this set mat as the same mask. So if I go back in again, and I change it again to way, way down and go, um, yeah, that looks kind of okay. Maybe a bit further up about there and hide it again. You can see that it's affected all of them already. So now they're finishing. So they look a little bit like they're getting stuck in the ground or something like that. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. The set mat tool is really, really powerful. So I hope you found that helpful guys. Make sure to stick around. There'll be more like this to come. Um, and if you didn't, then I'm sorry. I'm sure someone else can help you online if this wasn't what you were looking for. So I appreciate um, the views, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.